Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. I'm going to update you guys on Nightmare on Panning Street Project Pan and or Nightmare on Panning. <laughs> um, this is created by Valerie and Jaylon and you select either 6 or 13 items and of course it runs from October of 2023 to October 31st of 2023 to October 31st of 2024. Oh my goodness. Halloween. Yes. <laughs> all right so I have only one rollout because I'm filming this early so it's not quite done at the moment but it will be done I will talk to you guys about that in a second but I'm trying to film this a couple days early so I'm going to be bringing in two items even though only one is rolling out because I want to slowly work through a lot of these prompts and I love the movies, the prompts, everything, like everything about this project. I love it. So let's go ahead and talk about the items and the prompts. The first prompt is Sweeney Todd, which is a hair care item. And that was super easy for me to think of. I wanted to use this Way Detox Shampoo. And as you can see, this will be the one that will be rolling out. I only have one more use and I will be using this the next time I wash my hair. I just used this yesterday and so I will probably use this again on Sunday. Today is Friday. <laughs> so um, I will get all of that done in one use. I use a lot because I have a lot of hair. I have so much hair. And even if I didn't use this in one use, I have enough time to have more than one shower, like at least two or three showers before this actually will post. So excuse me, I know for sure that this will go up or this will be done. I know for sure that this item will be done. So that one will be the rollout. And then I'm going to just continue fill filling this one out. Um, I do have the full size and the refill bag. So I will refill this and I will refill the tall one. But I just feel like this is still in good condition. So I'm just going to refill that and use it in future projects and stuff. So the next prompt is a paranormal activity. And that is an item that never disappears. And of course, I always go for a blush for this prompt because clearly blushes like never never disappear. They take forever to use. And this is the MAC blush in the shade Peony Petal. And it's the, the most gorgeous pink shade. I have it lightly topped on another shade today. Um, this one I want to use 13 times and I currently have seven uses. I have quite a few blushes in a bunch of projects. So that's why I'm not getting all 13 uses right away. But I definitely want to see 13 uses on this. Um, I don't see any of the original like um, embossing from the pan. Like there was no Mac name or anything in it, but it was just an ever so light pressed, like, um, I don't even know how to like, just an embossing that like topped this. And it kind of looked like itty bitty tiny checks on it, but, um, like checkers kind of thing, but it's, it's all gone now. So that makes me happy that I'm at least seeing the wear down on this item. And it's the most beautiful blush. Oh my gosh. It's so gorgeous, but I still have six more uses to go. Next is Silence of the Lambs, and that is a lotion. I love that prompt so much. I brought in the Jouer uh, Revitalizing Moisturizing Lotion. Now, this is for body as well, but I mostly use this for my hands. And we started at this line here, and we are now down here. And I know that this is going to become a larger dip for next month because I am filming this a little bit early but oh my gosh I'm using this so much right now because it's so cold in Canada so cold um, but I definitely will get my use on that one and I have a feeling this will be done before the end of the project um, for get out an item you want out of your collection and I the only reason I want this out of my collection is because I'm trying to minimize the amount of lip products that I have. So this was kindly gifted to me from Valerie and it is the Urban Decay Vice High Impact Lipstick in the shade Back Talk, which is legit a gen shade. It's so a gen shade. It's really beautiful. It's almost like a rosy brown kind of shade. It's really beautiful. And there's a lot of product in here. So my goal is to complete that. Um, next is the Invisible Man, which is concealer, foundation, primer, and powder. And I think that has since changed. I'm not 100% sure, but I was using the old prompts at the beginning and now they're adjusted in my um, decisions app. So I don't even know what my app is called. It's like some spin something or other. But anyway, um, I decided to bring in the NYX Bear With Me Concealer in the shade. It's a serum concealer, sorry, in the shade Fair. 
and I know I've used this a lot, but it hasn't moved. But what worries me is that I can see windowing here, but this pump isn't moving up. There's also windowing up here, which worries me. I'm like, why isn't this bottom, like the bottom is supposed to move up as you use the product and it's not moving up and there's a bunch of air in there. So I'm like, eventually I'm just going to get this big jump. So I don't know. There's a huge windowing here. There's a bunch of windowing here. I'm not really sure. I can't mark it because it hasn't moved. So we'll see. We'll see if this is broken or not. I might just have to dump this into another container to use it. But so far it pumps out. Like it just feels like there's air when I spray it on the back of my hand. You can hear it like there's air when the product comes out. So um, but that one I want to use 13 times and I have currently used it four. I'm pretty sure I've used it more than that, but I'm, of course, I'm just going by what's here. So the next is Sleepaway Camp, which is an item that was not what you expected. And I went with the Nude by Nature blush in the shade Soft Coral. This is not, to me, a soft coral. This is more like a peachy brown. So, um, I was not expecting that shade this is like a burnt peach or an apricot shade so um this one i want to use five times and i've used it three and it's okay i think i could probably use this blush up relatively easily because um or hit pan at least relatively easily because the product kicks up a lot and it's very dusty like you can see it was just so easy for me to make marks everywhere it's just so dusty so I need to use this two more times, but I have a feeling I'll be pulling that in in the future. It's not my favorite, as you can tell. As I'm talking about it, I'm not like, oh my gosh, this is the best. You know what I mean? I'm just like, yeah, and then I have this. So my demeanor on that is very different. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's not a terrible blush. It's just not my favorite. It definitely is not what I had expected. <laughs> um, for the grudge, this is the new ones coming in now. I'm bringing in two. For the grudge, um, it's an item that you wish you never purchased. And I honestly, I'm going to go with the Too Faced Cr Cloud Crush Blurring Blush in the shade Tequila Sunset. And I thought this was going to be perfect, kind of match the exterior. It's like similar-ish to that color, but a little more like, a little more orangey-ish. I don't know. And then when I looked at this, it was just the same disappointment as the other blush I just talked about. So... I have two now this color don't get me wrong is more of what I expected the other color to be as a soft coral but it performs the same it's dusty like I have used this once and almost the whole Too Faced part on this side is already wearing off like I mean I literally just I just used this once like okay and I swatched it once so I, I'm not expecting great things with this and so I just want to use this five times hopefully I enjoy it more after the five uses but the color is beautiful it's not this like burnt peach this is what I was expecting but that's okay those two are just they've slightly disappointed me um, and the last one I'm bringing in is Rosemary's Baby which is a new item and I'm bringing in the Kelly Contour um, face palette from Smashbox and I want to use this one five times doesn't matter what I use I just want to use it five times so I can now take it out of the box and it has a full-size mirror that just kind of is so limp <laughs> um, and then it has a contour a under eye highlight and two illuminators and then it has two blushes I believe that's a blush or is it a, that's a bronzer a bronzer and a blush that bronzer looks nice actually very light but that'll work on me that'll be great actually so i want to use this five times um it's really cute it, there's not like there's a, quite a bit of product in here though 20.56 grams of product for all of this but it doesn't look like overwhelming you know what i mean like it looks like a really good cohesive palette although this bronzer may only work in the summertime yeah, that will only work in the summer. It's way too dark for me, so I probably won't touch that, but I will try to use the other items in here. So five times for that. So that is everything that I have. I really wanted to have more than just the one item rolling out, but this is so good. Oh my 
gosh. Um, but that's okay. I'm, I know that I will get some things rolling out. December is a more of a month where I just do my thing. I do whatever I want to do with that month. I will use Project Pad stuff, but I'm not putting pressure on myself. So if I don't have an amazing month for December, like don't hold it against me. I just like to have a month where I don't have to put pressure on myself to get those uses, especially around the holidays because I get stressed enough and very quickly. So, um, but I'm really happy with the items I have in, even though I have a few things that I'm kind of uncertain about, uh, are not like my favorite items. It's still nice to be able to use, you know, different color blushes, different brands, all that kind of stuff. And it keeps my usage interesting. It's like I have an array and assortment. Like I have this blush, this blush, and then this like bright pink. I should swatch it for you guys too. So on the blush front, like that swatched so awful, but there's that one. It comes off way better on with a brush, but you guys know Mac doesn't swatch the best anyhow, but I'm just excited about the assortment that I have in here and I think it's going to go really well and I'm looking forward to using all my stuff. So that is everything. Don't forget to check out Valerie and Jaylon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.